vitamins are chemicals present in small amount in our food and protects us against various diseases now vitamin b is one such vitamin which is water soluble and works against weakness many lesser fortunate people who did not have a proper meal in a day often suffered from a condition when they became mentally retarded their body became paralyzed and also there were swellings on their hands and on their legs now during the same time that is in the early 20th century in japan the workers working on the ship showed similar symptoms and they named the disease beriberi these workers showed symptoms of weakness they had swellings on their hand and feet their body became paralyzed and they also became mentally retarded so it was noticed that these workers were literally living on rice rice was their staple food but the other high ranked officers in the ship and all the sailor men had more of chicken and egg in their diet and these food contain a lot of proteins in them the high ranked officers did not suffer from beriberi so the doctors wondered is it because of the high protein content in these food that is preventing beriberi so is protein the reason well they soon discovered that water of the rice bran was also able to reverse the effects of beriberi but this water of the rice bran did not contain even a very small amount of proteins in it so it cannot be proteins that was curing beriberi it has to be something else so the doctors extracted another chemical from the water of the rice bran which is known as thiamine which they named as vitamin b1 since it was working against weakness it was placed under the category of vitamin b so thiamine or vitamin b1 was preventing beriberi from happening now we've often heard mothers telling us that have milk in your diet and milk will give you strength well well the doctors wondered is it the proteins in the milk which provides us with strength and works against weakness well no they extracted a chemical from milk that did not have any proteins it was a watery chemical and since it was reversing the effect of weakness they placed it under the category of vitamin b what this vitamin was doing was that in the cell food molecules are converted to energy by this organelle which is known as the mitochondria mitochondria converts a food molecule into energy molecule known as atp which is the energy currency of the cell and this vitamin which was obtained from milk was helping in this entire process and that is how milk is able to give us strength and it works against weakness because milk contains this vitamin which helps giving or providing more of energy this vitamin was also able to cure various other diseases such as eye irritation tongue inflammation and cracked lips 
so since apart from weakness this vitamin was being able to cure other illnesses it was given another name it was called vitamin b2 vitamin b because it was working against weakness and b2 because it was uh, curing other diseases and hence it had to be placed under another category not similar as vitamin b1 this watery chemical is known as riboflavin it is water soluble and as the as vitamin b1 this vitamin also works against weakness now if you think more of milk consumption will give more strength that is not true this is because milk contains a chemical which is toxic or harmful to the body and the damage caused due to this toxic chemical is known as toxicity so excess of milk consumption will cause toxicity in the body and you'll fall ill so this chemical present in milk is known as biotin which was also named as vitamin b7 now smaller quantities of vitamin b7 can provide us strength but excess amount of vitamin b7 can cause toxicity in our body so that is why don't drink excess of milk drink as much as it is sufficient for our body you might have seen some of your classmates feel tired lethargic and sleepy during classes now they might be suffering from a condition known as anemia so what happens during anemia is that the number of red blood cells decrease in the body and what is the function of the red blood cells well red blood cells are the oxygen carriers in the body and oxygen is required to produce energy so if there is less of red blood cells there won't be there will be less of oxygen carriage and so less of energy will be produced in the body and so the body becomes weak and a person feels lethargic when he or she is suffering from anemia so the doctors and the scientists ran several experiments and finally found a chemical from fish livers known as cobalamin they named it as vitamin b12 and this vitamin b12 was helping in reversing all the effects of anemia it prevented against weakness in the body it gave strength to the body now we've often heard mothers telling us to have more of green leafy vegetables such as spinach because it gives us more of red blood cells in our body so doctors experimented with these green leafy vegetables and found that there was no vitamin b12 or cobalamin present in these vitamin in these vegetables but still these vegetables were reversing all the effects of anemia so they eventually found out another chemical present in these uh, vegetables which is known as folic acid they named it as vitamin b9 and this folic acid helps reverse the effects of anemia so both vitamin b12 or cobalamin and vitamin b9 or folic acid can work against anemia and provide more strength to the body now the doctors saw that fish livers 
were also able to cure another disease known as pellagra. Now the symptoms of pellagra was dermatitis, which is a skin disease, diarrhea, which is the frequent loose motions, and dementia, which is the memory loss. So the three Ds, that is dermatitis, diarrhea, and dementia are the three symptoms of pellagra. And the fish livers were working against this disease. So is it vitamin B12 present in the livers, in the fish livers that were working against pellagra? Then let us see. Other food items such as banana and nuts were also curing pellagra. But these food items did not contain vitamin B12. What they contained was another chemical which is known as niacin. It is better known as vitamin B3. So niacin or vitamin B3 helps in curing or preventing pellagra. Bananas and garlics also contain another chemical which is known as pyridoxin or vitamin B6 that can cure weakness and skin problems such as skin rashes. So all these vitamins fall under the category of vitamin B because all these vitamins work against weakness. Apart from weakness, they are also working against various diseases. So they have been put in different categories. All these vitamins together form the vitamin B complex. Vitamin B1, which is known as thiamine. And the lack of this vitamin will cause mental retardation, weak muscles and weight loss. Vitamin B2 or riboflavin, if not taken in proper amounts in the body, will lead to eye irritation, tongue inflammation and dry lips. Lack of vitamin B3 or niacin will cause pellagra that has three symptoms, the three Ds, dermatitis, diarrhea, and dementia. Lack of vitamin B6 or pyridoxin will give you skin rashes. Vitamin B7 or biotin, if not taken in proper amounts in the diet, will cause weakness in the body. And lastly, vitamin B9 and B12, vitamin B9 being folic acid, and vitamin B12 being cobalamin, if not taken in uh, optimum levels in the diet, will cause anemia. So all these vitamins are uh, helping us or preventing us from having all these diseases. <laughs>